my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you all the goodies I got from the MAC and Estee Lauder warehouse sale. Now you guys know me, I go to this sale every year. I think last year was the first time I didn't go. I didn't get a lot of stuff. I remember the first time I went, I spent way too much money and I got way too many things I didn't need and I feel like every time I go now, there's a more methodical kind of way to the way that I shop and I find that I only go now for essentials and stuff that I need. I really liked this blush that I picked up. Um, it is called Pinch of Peach and or like Pinch of Peach kind of and it is a really pretty kind of a peachy pinky coral blush. I really like that it is a matte finish. I love matte blushes and um, this one I think it was $15 and I think blushes regular price at um, MAC are $24, $25. I also got some brushes. The MAC 136, which is just a really big powder brush. The second one is the MAC 272, which is an um, angled eyeshadow brush. And then the third one is uh, 266, which is an, also an angled brush, but it's kind of like good for liners and um, filling in your browser and stuff. I also grabbed two mascaras. The first one is uh, Plush Lash. And it's in the color plush black, of course. I always get mascaras in black. And it has a really thick wand. So it looks like that. And this one, generally, I would say, and given the name, I've never tried it before, never heard of it. But I feel like given the name, it would be really good for like volumizing your lashes and stuff like that, making them look nice and thick. The second mascara that I got, I believe it had the words Dimension and 3D in it. I'm not sure. Um, I just kind of like quickly glanced on the name before I purchased it. Um, but I really liked the wand on this mascara, which is the reason why I picked it up. The bristles are a lot um, smaller and they're more separated, which means that it's really good for separating and elongating your lashes. So that's why I picked this one up. Plus the packaging doesn't hurt. It's really cute. I also got two eyeshadows. So the first one I got is called Handwritten, and it is just a matte, kind of like a reddish, taupey brown um, color, which is really nice. I would say it would be great for um, doing kind of like a really nice, soft, smoky eye look on the outer corners of your eyes, because I don't really like working with um, black eyeshadows, so picking up a really dark but nice brown one would give a really nice, soft look to the eyes and one that I picked up was bronze and it's a frost finish and it's really nice I feel like it'll, it goes really well with my skin tone and it's just a really nice color to do just for a simple everyday all-over look and I also believe that bronze and handwritten would go really nicely together when doing a soft daytime smoky eye then I got the MAC select cover-up concealer in the shade NW45 this was the concealer I believe that I started using and I loved it a lot but I kind of like shied away from it for a while but now I'm back into the fold and I really like to use it it's very smooth it's really nice for covering up like dark circles and stuff like that so I grabbed that and then I also grabbed this nail polish in um, Mir Beth Experience. And it's just a really pretty pale um, yellow color, which I think will be great for springtime, which is the reason why I grabbed it. So I'm really happy with the things that I picked up. I'm glad I didn't spend too much money. Um, I've definitely learned a lot from my past experiences at the Mac Warehouse sale. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions or anything like that, please don't forget to leave it in the comment section below. But thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.